Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Cami, and this is my closet. Today I'm going to do an unboxing, an unboxing of an item that I had on layaway with Fashion File. Before I get into that, I just want to quickly say if you're new to my channel, thank you for coming. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy it. And um, just a, a warning, I don't know how to edit, I don't know how to splice, I don't know how to do pretty fancy thumbnails. I'm very new, I'm not computer savvy. I film and I upload, however it comes out, it comes out. My computer is a little bit outdated, sometimes the volume doesn't work so great, um, sometimes it could you know, blink with lights. This is um, not my day job and I'm doing it for fun and I'm doing it to share all the things that I like. I love luxury, I like designer handbags. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I enjoy, not just handbags, and if you enjoy just seeing what people have and what people enjoy and what people collect and whatnot, then you know, you'll know you you'll stick around and come see my videos. So um, I just wanted to mention real quickly that I had a whole bunch of friends over yesterday to celebrate my birthday. Um, my birthday is, um, I might have mentioned it, uh, <laughs> uh, which wasn't probably too bright. You know, uh, according to my husband, who's a, a New York City retired detective, um, we're not bright. None of us are bright. Um, he says, not only do you discuss when your birthday is, but you also show everything you own in your house. You show your jewelry. You show your thousands of dollars worth of handbags. And it's like... People can't find you. They could find you on Facebook. They could find you on Instagram. They could find where you live. It's very simple. So, you know, um, as much as I like doing this stuff, I always have in the back of my head, you got to be careful. You got to be careful. We're sitting around telling people when our birthday is, um, what state we live in, uh, all the things we have, <laughs> you know? We might as well just put our social security number across the screen. Anyway, forget that. Let's get back to the fun stuff. So I had friends over last night before I do my unboxing, which I knew I would finish paying off around my birthday. Um, I'm gonna show you what my friends got me. We're gonna start with this lovely bottle of Moscato. I, I need reading glasses, so forgive me. Um, it's called Mama Peach. Not sure if anyone's familiar. I like, uh, I like wine, I like champagne, I like sweet. I'm not a big alcohol person, um, but I like peachy, I like mango. So this was right up my alley. One of my friends brought that. Another friend of mine brought me this coaster that says, not to brag, but I was washing my hands way before it was this trendy. She knows I'm neurotic. She knows I'm crazy. I'm a hand sanitizer person. I was a hand sanitizer person way before COVID. So this was very apropos. She also got me um, a couple of little snowmen to put on my Christmas tree. I have a Christmas tree, like a regular Christmas tree. And then I have a white little Christmas tree that I call my snowman tree. And I dress it up. I'll show you guys, when, you know, in December. I dress it up like... Um, like, um, it's just all snowman related only. And it's red and white. Only because the red is like the scarves and the hats. Well, I don't want to get into that. Anyway, so she got me that also, the Costa. And she got me my favorite store, a gift card to TJ Maxx. So I'm excited about that. And then my other friend, if you've seen in the past, I did... A video collab with Dawn Loves Couture, what's in our curio cabinets. Um, I believe we did part one and part two. So you could check that video out if you're interested. It's what's in my curio cabinets. And my girlfriend bought me this, which is a Jim Shore and it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs figure for my curio cabinet. Look how beautiful this is. Gorgeous. The witch uh, Snow White, the, her seven dwarfs. It's on like a log. Just, just stunning. Look at the detail. It's just amazing. And on the back, you got the witch with the apple. 
just incredibly beautiful. What a beautiful, beautiful piece. So I got that. Quickly, I'm gonna do bag of the day. I finally used it. I also did a video on all the bags I haven't used at all, not once, not a minute. And this was in there and I took it out yesterday and I'm using it today. I don't know the exact name because I don't have my file box down here with the receipts and all, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, but you might know it. I got this on sale um, about six months ago at Nordstrom. Might have been Nordstrom Rack. It's coach, it's in the chalk color, it's a barrel bag, gold hardware. Love this, it's beautiful. I don't know why I waited so long to use it, but you know, that's me. Holds a ton of stuff, everything, everything I need is in there. So um, I used it all day yesterday, running around. I was a little, you know, careful because it's a light color. I was in the supermarket, so I kind of flung it to, to one side of my hip so it wouldn't push against the cart. But it came out okay. It was good. Um, anyway, again, like I said, I'm kind of celebrating um, my birthday month is between July and September. I'm not going to tell you what month it is, but I'm just saying that this way, you know, people won't really know. Anyway, and I just ordered something yesterday and I'm going to tell you guys right now because I think it ends today. Saks Fifth Avenue is having their gift card sale. Depending on what you spend, you get a gift card to use at another, you know, for another item. The only thing I don't like is you don't get the gift card immediately. It comes in the mail or sometimes it comes with the item that you purchase. So I purchased, of course, I purchased a handbag and it, you know it'll be here probably next week and i'm getting i'll tip you off on the price of the handbag i'm not going to tell you the price but i'm getting a 450 dollar gift card so if i spend that on another bag which i've been eyeing i've been eyeing two bags that Saks has the 450 plus two percent back from rakuten makes the two bags that I'm eyeing and the one that I purchased decreased by $250 each. So it, it, it was a good sale. But again, um, this is my husband's contribution to my birthday. It's really my birthday gift. Um, so you'll see that probably next week. Let me unbox. Let me not waste any more time because I try not to make my videos ramble on and on. I got my handy dandy, uh, box cutter here. This is Fashion File. You know Fashion File locks things up like Fort Knox. So just give me a second. This is a bag that's been around for a very long time and I have it already. Someone did a video, forgive me if I don't remember, but someone did a video. Um, it was so nice I bought it thrice. I don't know if they did a video that it was so nice they bought it twice. That might have been a video also. And again, I don't remember. Um, I feel like Fuchsia Floyd did that. It might have been a collab or a tag. Again, I don't remember. So if you're watching and you did the so nice I bought it thrice, I think it was Coach Craze too. Um, this bag would now fall into my category of buying it twice. I have this bag in a different color. I have this bag in all black with silver hardware. It wasn't my first choice. My very first choice was this one, but I would not spend the money. I would not spend retail price and I could not find it anywhere in this colorway. And Fashion File just had it. Well, not just, I bought it like almost two months ago. I put it on reserve, I'm trying to open this. I put it on reserve because it was still pretty expensive and I have no problem. Put it on layaway, pay it off a little bit. Every paycheck, threw a little bit more money on it. It did not come with a box, I don't believe. It just comes with 
hopefully its own dust bag. And of course the, the fashion file dust bag. I bought this because it was listed in excellent condition. When I shop on fashion file, I only look at things that are excellent, new or giftable um, because I can't spend um, hundreds um, or upwards of a thousand or two thousand or whatever on a handbag that <laughs> is not new and has marks all over it. I, I don't, it just doesn't make sense to me. That's my personal opinion. I'm, you know, I'm not judging anybody. Um, let me get this thing open. Okay, they put it in the fashion file dust bag. I'm assuming its own dust bag will be in the bag. Okay, so if you all know me, I have a couple of Loewe's. I have the black small puzzle and I have two mini gate top handles, one in pink, this beautiful pink, and one in uh, caramel and dark brown color. I've showed those, I unboxed the brown, I reviewed, I think, the pink, or had the pink one shown in my summer uh, seasonal handbags. This color, now, I'm not wearing my glasses, so I really can't inspect it. I'm just gonna take it out, I'm gonna inspect it after I film. Um, this colorway, to me, was the most beautiful um, combination for this type of bag because it really showed the details. The details on this bag is beautiful. So I'm hoping that it's in perfect condition because when you lay away on Fashion File, if you cancel, you have to pay 10% of the price. Or if you send it back, return it, you have to pay 10% of the selling price unless it's not as described. This just said, faint hardware scratches, faint. Said nothing about the leather at all. So I'm expecting this bag to look pretty new. I'm expecting that. Behold, the new addition to my collection, the small puzzle in the sand and mink color. Ta-da! Here she is. I absolutely loved this color. It's kind of two-tone. The sand is, I, th I think the, the base is sand color. The handle and the trimming, and I'm assuming this looks like it's in magnificent condition, but again, I can't see without my glasses. I'm assuming, okay, we have the dust bag, the Loewe dust bag in here. It doesn't say Loewe, it has the little tag. And we have the strap. The strap is detachable and adjustable, and it is in the same color as the handle. It's in the the mink, and it's quite twisted up, the structure. A little bit twisted, going, a little twisting going on here. Um, but that's okay, I'll, I'll fix that. It has the, um, the tail, the tail keeper thing. Um, so I will definitely fix it when I'm inspecting it. Um, but I'm gonna hook it on what I said about the black puzzle, the, the um, clips don't swivel. So if you don't put this on correctly, the strap will be twisted. And that was the only thing that was really bad about this handbag. They didn't put thought into that. So the black one I have, I attach the strap and I left it there. I don't take it off when I pack it um, because I don't want to keep having to put the strap back on, take it off back, and then be aggravated if it's gonna twist. So I'm just gonna throw this on. I'm not gonna worry if it's, if it's twisted or not twisted right now, because I just wanna show you and do mod shots. So the reason I love this light color is because you see the details. 
of the puzzle. And on the black one, you see it, but it's not that clear. It's not obvious from a distance. It's not obvious unless you're really looking at it, the geometric shapes that this has. But in this color, and I don't buy light colors, the coach bag that I'm using today, that's a light color. I have a Fendi, which I did a video on, an unboxing on my mini Fendi, by the way, that's white. And that is also a light color. And I have the Loewe mini top handle in pink. That was it for my light summer colors. I got a little risky, you know, I, I'm taking chances. I went and did this because I don't have a bag that's light beige, tan, cream at all. And I really wanted this color, the sand, no, the sand and the mink. I just, I thought this color for this bag was stunning. So it was about, I'm going to say it was about almost 800 less than what it goes for new. I couldn't find this color combination anywhere, not even on the Wave. I couldn't find it anywhere but pre-loved. I don't tend to do pre-loved, but I've been buying from Fashion File. That right now is the only pre-loved site that I purchased from. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick mod shot of this, and then I'm going to go inspect it. I think the troops are up upstairs because I hear banging, so I've got to finish this up real quick. Yeah, the strap is twisty, but I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm just going to put it on. Actually, not going to put it on because it's not even closed, the strap. So I have to um, figure out how to close it. I'm going to put it on the largest just for now. This is actually on the longest um, hole, and it does have quite a few holes, and they're quite um, they're quite spaced apart. So a strap like this will accommodate very small. I'm um, five foot one, small frame for reference. It'll definitely accommodate tall, medium. You know, no, well, that would be tall, medium, small. So this is how it looks. Of course, I got to worry about color transfer. This is how it looks as a crossbody. You can hold it by the handle. The top handle's not removable. If I hold it down like this by my side, the strap, even on the longest, doesn't drag on the floor. So that's good if you want to keep your strap on. That didn't sound too good. If you'd like to not remove your strap, it can hang and it'll be fine. So you can hold it like this. And it has enough uh, space here to wear it in the crook of your arm, which is great. I bought an insert, right? Let me come back, coming back, coming back. Remember, I don't know how to edit, so it's just me and the raw. I bought an insert for the black puzzle from uh, an Etsy seller named by the name of Nana, Nana Store 2018 or something. I forgot, the, I forgot the name. I think I listed in the review of my black puzzle. She did an insert for the black puzzle exactly, exactly to fit this without losing the, the structure. I like when it, um, sags in the middle like that. Is that the word sags? No, what's the word? There's a word. <laughs> I can't think of the word. There's a word when the bag dips like that. In any case, I like when it dips. So the first um, person that I, I ordered it from, it was too high and it didn't let this, the bag have the dip. So I sent it back. I ordered from someone else and I said, I don't want it to come up exactly. I want it to be, you know, like an inch lower because I like the um, look of the bag just like this. 
and she made it a perfect height. So I have that already. It's in my black puzzle and I could use it for this bag too. Um, like I said, I don't have my glasses on, but this appears to uh, be in flawless condition, really flawless. Um, but you really never know until you take a magnifying glass, which I do. I'm like a jeweler. I take a magnifying glass. I inspect it like a, like inspect a Clouseau. Anyway, so that is my video for today. I'm not doing jewelry of the day. I'm wearing pretty much things that you guys have seen already several times. Um, and I don't want to keep this video. It's already you know, I keep going and going and going and bore everybody. It's already 20 minutes. So I'm just going to say goodbye. And I will be back next week with my other birthday. I guess, I guess this was a little birthday haul and I still have one item coming. But, you know, the birthday haul thing, that's just an excuse. We all know that. You know that. You know that, you know that, you know that. You all know that. We say birthday, so we have another reason to buy ourselves luxury items. As if we don't buy birthday gifts all year round. Of course we do. Anyway, have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, hit the subscribe, the like button, if you enjoyed the content, and if you're not new to my channel, thanks for coming by today and I'll see you again uh, next week. Take care.